I'm James Fuller, a professor of history here at the University of Indianapolis. 2020 has been shaped by the coronavirus, the pandemic that has swept the world and killed so many people and caused so much havoc in our society. But did you know that disease has long been part of the human experience? We've seen disease and its impact over time in many different centuries. Many history classes talk about the bubonic plague, the Black Death, and its impact on Europe in particular and we know about that. Uh, there has been, in recent days, a lot of stories about uh, uh, the Spanish flu of 1918. But in 1721, the smallpox came to Boston, Massachusetts, to the colony of, of Massachusetts. It killed many. And it also saw a revolution in medicine as the physicians there began to introduce a new technique for preventing the disease called inoculation. That was the first step toward the modern eradication of smallpox, which was long a scourge on human society. But that new technique, that new method, was divisive, and people began to argue about whether or not it should be used. And newspapers divided as well as the populace did, and they began to argue about it. Those who opposed inoculation also began to oppose the government and to speak out in opposition to government policies. One of the newspaper editors who did was James Franklin, who influenced his younger brother, Benjamin, who became known as a proto-American and was one of the founding fathers, a leader of the American Revolution. And he learned how to operate in a context of change, in a context of, of opposition and argument and debate and criticism back there in 1721. In 1832-33, you also had a, another disease that impacted American history. The cholera came to the United States during Andrew Jackson's presidency. Americans were busy arguing about banks and banking policy, arguing about Indian removal, arguing about whether the states or the national government should have supreme power. But then came the disease, and many tens of thousands died. Although it was indiscriminate, it hit people of color worse. Many African Americans, especially those enslaved in the South, suffered worse than others in the country. And it also brought polarization in another way. Many Americans, especially in the northeastern part of the country, began to blame immigrants for the disease. They called it a foreign fever, a foreign disease, and they pointed the finger at the immigrants. This laid the foundation for a nativist, anti-immigrant movement that really gained in popularity over the next couple of decades and became part of the polarization and the division, the paranoia and fear that led to the Civil War. Disease is important in American history, in world history. It shapes the society we live in. Yes, we're in a different time, but in some ways, we're not any different. We're also experiencing a period of time that is being shaped in large part by what's happening in the medical world and in our health care issues uh, that are so wrapped up in the pandemic. If you come here to the University of Indianapolis, you'll learn about the relevance of the past to the present. And we have our majors who go off and become teachers, who go to law school and become lawyers, who uh, go on to graduate school. But a large percentage of our majors go into business, and some of them find great success. One who did came back a few years ago and came and spoke to some of our students, and he uh, talked about his experience, and he said that he was often asked by his employees, he said, well, how is it that you have a history degree and you're my boss? And I have my degree and I'm working for you. I didn't think that history was relevant. I didn't think it would really work in the, in the business world. And he said he always tells those employees, he said, your degree taught you to be a good employee, how to do a good job. My degree taught me how to take over the world. Well, I'm not sure that we can help you take over the world, but we can certainly help you learn important life skills and how to see that the past is indeed relevant to our present. Thank you.